All right, rumor has it that the glow-in-the-dark paint that we use in our murals, in our night sky murals, glows for hours. But is that really true? I mean, come on. The, the plastic stars glowed for maybe 15 minutes. So how can you go from 15 minutes to hours? Is it a bunch of lies? Or is it true? Stay tuned and I'll let you know. So does the paint really last for hours? Does it glow for hours? It absolutely does. But there's a few things that are important. First of all, you need a dark room. That should be pretty obvious. The, the paint is to be seen in the dark. Glow paint. Next, um, here's, a, here's, a, here's a scenario. I've had a couple times people have called me up and they've said, hey Jeff, you just painted this mural. I went in and charged it up. I wanted to look at it and it was beautiful when I first charged it up and it's gone now. It didn't last, you know, it didn't last an hour. Well, in talking with them, what I found out was they charged the paint up and they were in the dark, charged the paint up and it was beautiful. They sat there and enjoyed it for a few minutes and then they left the room. Then you know, they could have gone out and done some cooking. They could have watched some TV. They could have done stuff on the computer or gone and visited friends. But what's happening, the lights are on in, um, in those rooms, the kitchen, you're under, under bright lights. You're watching TV, bright lights. So you come back in, there's nothing there. Um, here's the deal. When they first charged it up, their eyes were opened up. Their pupils were open. They were letting they let whatever light was in the room in. But when they came back into the room, the um, their eyes had closed up under the light. And and so yeah, you're not gonna see the paint when your eyes your pupils are closed up. Have you ever gone to a movie um, you know, maybe the daytime, it's still bright outside. You go in, you buy your tickets, go get your popcorn, you go in and sit down. You Actually, you don't sit down. You go into the doors, try to find a seat. And all you can see is the movie playing. You can't see anything. You can't see the people right next to you, you know, in the rows that are already sitting down. So you have to stand there for a few minutes and let your eyes open up. Then you can see where there's empty seats. And you go sit down, have your popcorn, enjoy the movie. All right, that's the same thing. When you go out somewhere else, you do some cooking, you go visit a friend, you come back in, your eyes are closed up and you're not going to see it because what we just talked about. Something else is that, that has to do with all of this is the paint, when it's charged up and the lights go out, it's at its peak level. And in the first 10 minutes, the paint loses it, the, ma the majority of its brightness. Not the majority, but the super brightness that the paint has. And it, it diminishes the fastest in the first 10 minutes. And then it slowly levels off and slowly over the next eight to 10 hours, it fades away. So let's say you go out for 20 minutes and you, do, you cook something up and you wanna go back in and enjoy the mural. You go back in, your eyes are closed, the paint's faded, that's, that's two strikes. And you sit there and you go, dang it, Jeff, it, the mural's gone. You told me it was going to last for hours. It's there. I promise you it's there. Now, had somebody else, your friend or somebody, stayed in the room while you went out and cooked, you come back in and say, oh, the mural's gone. It's not gone. And they're going to tell you that. They're going to say, what are you talking about? It's right here. I have people come in all the time when I'm ready to show them or they'll sneak in. They beg me to come in. All right, come in. You know, I'll show them the mural. And they've been outside. I'm seeing this beautiful, of course it's beautiful. I painted it. Beautiful mural on their ceiling. And they're like, I don't see anything. Exactly. You're not ready to see it because your eyes need to be adapted to dark. I need to charge it up some more. So anyways, that's the deal. 
So if you come back in, if you've been outside, you come back in and you want to see the mural, you don't want to sit and wait for five minutes for your eyes to open up and the stars to pop out before your eyes, then flip the charging lights on for five minutes or so, turn them off and there's the boom, there's the beautiful bright mural. And then the first 10 minutes it's going to fade and then slowly over the next eight hours, if you stay in that room, you're going to see stars. Now something else. I put about 25 different sizes of stars in the mural. So in the first 30 minutes or so, 30 minutes to an hour, the smallest little stars, they're going to go. Then the next 30 minutes or so, the next, the next little, next smallest star is going to go. They're going to fade out at different rates. So your mural is actually going to change over the span, let's say it's in a bedroom. During the night, your mural is going to change. You, you know, at first there's a ton of 3D. And, I mean, there's 3D the whole throughout the whole mural, but I mean through the whole time frame. But it's the mural just changes because these stars are going to fade, these are going to go away, and then it's just uh, it's cool. People tell me they love how the mural is always changing and it's just it's beautiful. And they also twinkle. And I'll talk about that in another video, but the stars twinkle. So hope that helps.